So 52 Pickup is actually one of the first freestyles I did that um, it was on the Lil Wayne's Best Rapper Alive beat. Mm -hmm. And I, there was this DJ who was like, man, there's a thing called YouTube. He's like, we can put you freestyling on a beat, throw it on YouTube, and people will come check it out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what, what is YouTube? You know, what are you talking about? And so he was like, just just come do it. Yeah. So I, I went there to his spot, and then we did the freestyle in his garage. He uploaded it. And then after he uploaded it, man, I ain't see this dude for about a year. And then people were coming up to me, and they are like, yo, man, I seen your freestyle on YouTube, YouTube. And I was like, what? For real? Okay, <laughs> tight, tight, tight. Mm -hmm. And then once I seen him again, I was like, bro, like, you got to give me my password and my name. <laughs> So I to can, the YouTube. Yeah, so I can you I can build off my YouTube channel yeah. and then actually start doing this more often. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I had no idea what it was. I wasn't yeah. hip to any. Nope, I don't think nobody was at the time, nah, right? I like that. No technology, no, no computer stuff. So no, when was this? Man, bro, this is early, dog. I want to say 2002, maybe? Mm. 2000? Mm hmm. Maybe, maybe sometime before 06. Like right sure. when YouTube was. Buzzing. Right when it came out. I don't know what, what year YouTube came out, but yeah. it was like the first time I ever heard of it. Yeah. And then from that, it just gave me a quicker way to reach an audience that, that had never seen me before. Yeah. So YouTube came out in 2005. Okay. So okay. this was about 2002, 2003 mm -hmm. sometime, whenever. And. Once I was like, okay, I can pass out CDs in my neighborhood and do that or mm -hmm. go to, like, the malls and pass out CDs. But this, like, platform is letting people see me from all over the place on the computer mm -hmm. that I ain't never seen before. Yeah. So then I was like, okay, I need this. So once I seen him again, I was like, bro, you got to get my password. You got to get my <laughs> channel. You know what I'm saying? So he gave it to me. And then it just became another outlet to put out music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, I remember that 52 pickup where you're, like, in the studio. It's super old. You're, like, a little kid. How you know old, how old are you? Like, bro, in 2002? Damn. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, maybe 17, 18, okay. somewhere around there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Yeah you, were, yeah, you looked very young in that one. But you were spitting, man. Like, you were going it off. Was, it was... uh. I don't know, man. It was just one of those things where it's like you don't know that it's gonna be tight or you know it's gonna be the one to connect with the people. But mm -hmm. even to this day, though, like as much music as I've put out over the years, mm -hmm. people will come up to me and be like, "Bro, that fifty two pickup is hard." <laughs> and I'm like, "You know, I've dropped like a hundred songs after that, right?" Yeah. And they're like, I don't care. That's the one for them. I rock a fifty two pickup. Yeah. I go to a show. Yeah. And they'd be like, "Do fifty two pickup?" And I'm like, "Bro, I don't remember that flow." Like. Yeah. <laughs> That was so long ago. <laughs> like, I couldn't even tell you, like, yeah. anything about it. Man, and it's still on YouTube, right? Yeah, it's still on YouTube. Yeah, because yeah, people always hit me up about it, you know what I'm saying, or post it and be like, yo, you remember this one? And mm -hmm. it's like, yes, I'm never going to forget. Bring back a little memories. They ain't going to let yeah. you forget that one. Nah, man. They, especially when they, when they shout it out at a show, like... I'd be like, bro, there's no way you expect me to remember that flow from back then. Like, <laughs> right now, like, I can't do it. You, you know have to listen saying? to it a few times. Man, longer than a few times. <laughs> I have to listen to it for a while. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I put out so many albums, so many mixtapes, and then when you go on tour, uh, so we do, like, 15, 20 city tours, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm probably doing songs off the last album, the last two or three albums, mm -hmm. and giving people, like, the most recent music I've done. Mm -hmm. That way... They can hear what I've up been up to, and I know they've probably been jamming these last two or three albums because mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. name of the tour is probably the last album, mm -hmm. whatever I drop. Mm -hmm. And okay. so it'll be random songs. People yell and be like, do this, do that. And you be like, <laughs> man, hell no. <laughs> I would love to, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But it's so many records that you just make over the years, you never know which one is the one you mm -hmm. know, for that city. What are like some of the most common ones people – Want to want to listen to like when you as far as like when you're in concert? Um, that's a good question, cause I always put my show set together, mm -hmm. and then it's it's crazy when you put the show set together because when you perform it, fans know the lyrics to uh, these songs already. Mm -hmm. So I've had times where people say like moments of event. Uh, I made three of those, mm -hmm. so they they'll say one, two, or three. Mm -hmm. Last breath, um, the fifty two pickup definitely comes out a lot. Mm -hmm. It's just different records, man. There's, there's just so many different towns and cities that you hit that. Yeah. I mean, 
you got to understand, like, music does something to people that it's, it's when it touches their soul or it helps them, you know, get out of a certain situation or makes them feel more confident or more, you know, s- something about themselves, mm-hmm. that song just sticks with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when somebody else 52 pickup, yeah, it's a dope flow, but it's something about that time or something that song did for that person that it stuck with them over the years. Mm-hmm. It brings back memories. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it's it's always going to be different songs with different fans, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, or different people that support your music because mm-hmm. every song that you make hit a certain person a certain way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, I got you. 